Hello, I'm Cameron Martis, your TA for ATM 101. In this screencast, we will look at the surface maps that you downloaded from the National Weather Service in Unit 8, and we will explain some of the symbols that you'll see on them. This surface map is from November 14, 2011, at 18Z, or 18 o'clock Universal Time, which corresponds to about 11 a.m. Alaska Standard Time. The chart appears to have a lot of clutter at first glance, but it basically consists of surface observations, isobaric lines, and fronts. Most of the surface observations on this map are drawn over by isobaric lines or fronts, but I have identified two one on land here and one in the sea here that have not been overwritten. We will examine both of these and tell you what all the numbers and symbols mean. The interior Alaska station observations show a center circle that is one quarter shaded. This indicates that the sky was one quarter covered with clouds. A circle enveloping this central cloud cover circle indicates that the wind is calm. Immediately to the right of the cloud cover circle we see a plus sign indicating that the pressure is higher than it was three hours ago. In that three hours the nine indicates that the pressure has risen by nine-tenths of a millibar. In the same three hours the symbol to the right of the 9 indicates that the barometric pressure has been rising steadily at an increasing rate. The number directly above the 9 indicates the barometric pressure at the time of observation with the initial 10 or 9 removed. In this case, the pressure is 1013.4 millibars. The number on the upper left hand side of the cloud cover symbol indicates the air temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. The time of observation, the air temperature is minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit. The dew point temperature, which is directly below and to the left of the cloud cover symbol, is minus 33 degrees Fahrenheit. You may run into symbols that have more information than these, but on this particular map, this is the amount of information that is given. Let's take a look at the weather observation that we identified in the sea, down here. The barometric pressure has not risen at all, is steady, over the past three hours. The actual barometric pressure is 1019.0 millibars. The air temperature is 20 degrees Fahrenheit. The dew point temperature 15 degrees Fahrenheit. The cloud cover symbol indicates that three-eighths of the sky is covered. The wind symbol indicates that the winds are out of the southwest at 15 to 20 miles per hour. The thin lines drawn across the map are isobaric surfaces showing lines of constant pressure. These lines always have somewhere on them the barometric pressure in millibars with the initial 10 or 9 taken off. For instance, this line right here indicates 1024 millibars. This line here, 1020 millibars. Oftentimes the lines circle around themselves so that you will see high pressure systems or low pressure systems with an H or an L in the middle of the innermost circle. For example, this high pressure system has a central pressure of 1026 millibars. The barometric pressure decreases as you go outside this high pressure system. Over here is a low pressure system with a central pressure of 998 millibars. The pressure increases as we move away from the center of the low pressure system toward the high pressure system. 
The last thing to discuss about this weather map are the fronts. The big bold lines with bumps on them as seen here, here, and here. The bumps are either circular or triangular. The circular ones indicate a warm front and the triangular ones indicate a cold front. The bumps are oriented in the direction that the front is moving. For instance, this here is a warm front while here is a cold front. Where the bumps are intermediately placed so that there is a circular bump on one side followed by a triangular bump on the other and so forth, this is called an, a stationary front in which there is a boundary between cold and warm air masses which usually occurs with high and low pressure systems but the front is not moving in either direction.